a robotic glove for uh, rehabilitation uh, if you're a stroke victim would be appropriate. And statistical odds are you or someone you know and love will have a stroke. And I don't care if you're under 55, I don't care if you're 25, time will come that I hope you'll have this video bookmarked in the back of your mind. So what is stroke? Stroke is an interruption of the blood supply to the brain, and what happens is that cells in the brain die, and often they are those cells which control motor functions and muscles in other parts of the body. It turns out, however, that there is this concept, this thing called neuroplasticity. Hey Google, what is neuroplasticity? According to Wikipedia, neuroplasticity, also known as neural plasticity or brain plasticity, is the ability of neural networks in the brain to change through growth and reorganization. It is when the brain is rewired to function in some way that differs from how it previously functioned. So what this robotic glove does is it helps you reestablish the neural connections between your motor function of your hand and your brain. Because stroke rehabilitation in this case is as much a training of the brain is, as it is a rehabilitation of the muscles. Well, let's take a look at this magic glove. This is the nice packaging that it comes in. Let's unpack it. Here's what we got. Cyrebo. We have the power cable an exercise ball. This is called the data glove. The robotic glove. The exercise cushion. And what they call the host, which is the brains that makes it all work. I'll get back to you when I figure out how the Cyrebo rehabilitation glove works. Their motto, by the way, I'm reading this off of the box, Gain beautiful life with your hands. I read the manual. You get it online in a PDF format. It's pretty straightforward. As soon as you learn how to uh, set up the host, turns out that the power cord is only used to charge the internal battery, which you don't actually have to have it hooked up to power when you're using it. There are two modes set by the host. The first is passive training, where this robotic glove simply opens and closes and opens and closes. And then the other mode is mirror training. So you put this glove on your good hand, and whatever you do with your good hand is repeated by your debilitated hand. I'll turn it on. You can see what the glove is doing. This is the passive training mode. It's just opening and closing. And the interval of how long it stays open or closed is set on the host. So let me put it on and we'll see what I think it feels like. This is a large, they come in different sizes. I've always thought of my hands as being medium, but it fits good. This goes over your wrist. And there's a thing on the back that comes over and holds it. Now, I'm just going to let you trust that I am, in fact, not doing this with my hand. It is the glove doing it. This is not a debilitated hand, but I'm not doing this. It's comfortable. I'm definitely stretching out my fingers. Making a fist. Oh, here. I'm going to call that punching mode. <laughs> We can use this little pad to lay on to make it more comfortable. That was passive training mode. And now we're going to try mirror mode where this glove goes on the good hand and this hand mirrors what you do with this one. This should be interesting. Oh, I had my hand clenched. Let's grab a ball. Now 
Now there's another thing about this. Let me shut this off. These valves back here control the fingers and the thumb individually. So if I wanted to practice pinching like this, I would shut the valves off for these three fingers. Now let's see what happens. Oh, <laughs> what happened was I couldn't straighten them out. Now I should, whoa. It's all fun and games till you need one. You can't do this and <laughs> work on those. So I have to do it with it shut off. It didn't hurt or anything. It just, I couldn't do what I needed to do. So I've got three fingers shut off. I only have my pointer finger and my thumb finger that are going to be activated. And if I pinch, it pinches, but these three didn't. So I can pinch the ball and drop the ball. Whoa, did you see that? I caught the ball. Oh, slipped off. That's working pretty good. What else can we do? It's all fun and games with the ball, but maybe you want to practice some practical things. This whole idea about that new word I learned, neuroplasticity, reminds me of a story about my mother. It came to pass when she was like, I don't know, 97, that her thumb stopped working. And the doctor said, well, there's two tendons that go to your pointer finger, and we could detach one and hook it on to your thumb. And so she proceeded with the surgery, and then she had to go to physical therapy in order to help the brain learn that that tendon went to the thumb instead of the pointer finger. And she was um, using, in that therapy, the idea of neuroplasticity. But I say, hey, mom, you got to be really careful. You're going to be pointing at something and wind up hitchhiking. <laughs> Did we have fun today? I hope so, even though it's a serious subject. The real deal is, I hope you never have to use this glove. But if you do, like I said earlier in the video, I hope you've got this video bookmarked in the back of your mind for the statistical inevitability that you or someone you know or love 